Now, summer is a season of sun-soaked adventures, vibrant energy, and endless possibilities. And it's a time when our wardrobe transitions to lighter fabrics and breezier styles. And just as the temperature rises, so does the potential for summer style mishaps. That's what I wanna help you avoid on today's video. On today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 of the worst summer style mistakes us guys make and give you some practical tips on how to avoid them. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like John Robinson, sub. Now, first up on the list of the 10 worst summer style mistakes us guys make, not making sure you have separate gym clothes from your regular everyday summer clothes. Now, in my opinion, this is a mistake a lot of guys make throughout the year. And because sweat and odor can accumulate in your gym clothes, it's exacerbated in the summer. Think about it. When you're working out hard during the summer, you sweat more, you stink more. Why would you share the same shirts and t-shirts with your regular wardrobe? Because a lot of guys are wearing t-shirts, shorts to the gym, and it's natural to wear those same clothes during the summer, a lot of guys try to get away with cycling their gym clothes in with their regular clothes. This is a huge mistake. If you do that, especially during the summer, trust me, people will smell you a mile away. Whatever you do this summer, resist the urge to cycle your gym clothes in with your regular summer clothes. Speaking of incorporating brings us to our next summer style mistake. Don't make the mistake of not utilizing performance fabrics in your summer wardrobe. Trust me, as the temperature rises, performance fabrics are a godsend. That's because performance fabrics are moisture wicking, more breathable, they move with you, tend to have a lot of stretch, much more effective and comfortable for those hot summer months. Now your performance clothing are typically made of synthetic fabrics such as polyester, rayon, among others that give you characteristics such as breathability, moisture wicking, less odor accumulation, and as I mentioned, giving you some stretch. All characteristics you definitely wanna have during the summer months. And the great thing about it, performance fabrics are seen in a wide range of brands and style. So if you wanna look good during this summer and stay cool both literally and figuratively, make sure you're incorporating performance fabrics. Now next up on the list of the 10 worst summer style mistakes us guys tend to make is one I have to admit, I have to keep an eye on myself. Relying too much on jeans during the summer. Now I get it, for a lot of us, jeans are the default pair of pants. They're comfortable and easy to wear. You may throw your jeans on and forget about it as well, and then wonder why you have swamp crops. Just don't work as well during the summer. For one, they're very heavy and they're non-breathable. Things are just gonna make you feel overheated and much less comfortable throughout the summer. Instead, wear some alternatives. How about some linen pants? or the channel favorite, some chinos. And if it comes down to it and you just have to wear jeans, how about instead of wearing your darker jeans, wear lighter washes. At least lighter washes don't attract and absorb the sun as much as your darker rinse and black jeans. Wanna be comfortable and stylish this summer? Don't rely so much on jeans. Next up on the list is a pet peeve of mine that I've been warning about every summer since this channel started, and I probably always will a huge summer style mistakes, wearing flip-flops in places other than the beach and the pool. Now I get it, flip-flops are a no-brainer. They're comfortable, your feet get to breathe. All that is great, but this is a style channel. Flip-flops are not stylish. Flip-flops only work when you're close to a body of water. Other than that, when you still wanna wear slip-ons, you do have options. How about instead of wearing flip-flops, throw on some nice loafers, some espadrilles, some driving shoes. With these, you have the ease of the slip-on feature of a flip-flop, but with a lot more style. So yes, you still can wear slip-ons during the summer, but unless you're at the beach or the pool, forget the flip-flops. Now I wanna take a little time to talk to you about today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped is the global men's lifestyle brand that has all the right tools for dad this year. They are trusted by over 8 million men worldwide for the trimmers and hygiene formulations. And they're an excellent choice if you're looking for the perfect gift to give or receive 
this Father's Day. For one, they have their Beard Hedger, their premium mustache and beard trimmer. It comes with a 7200 RPM motor and a titanium coated T-blade to cut through the thickest of hair and it's cordless and waterproof. They also have their Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. It comes with a 7000 RPM motor and a 360 degree rotor dual blade system. Not to mention their signature product, the Lawn Mower 4.0. The Lawn Mower 4.0 comes with ceramic blades, which helps reduce nicks and cuts, and it is also cordless and waterproof. Not only can you buy these great products individually, in the Performance Package 4.0, you can get the Lawn Mower and the Weed Whacker, Crop Restore, Crop Preserver, and two free grips, all in one great convenient package. Now, not only did Manscaped sponsor today's video, they've got a special offer for the Style OG family. When you go to manscaped.com style, You'll get 20% off your order and free shipping. If you're looking for the perfect gift to give or receive this Father's Day, look no further than Manscaped. Now, next up on the list of the worst summer style mistakes is a mistake us guys in particular make much more than the ladies. And I include myself in this category. Not incorporating color into your summer wardrobe. Now I get it, just like you, I easily default throughout the year, including in the summer, to navy, gray, and black. That's cool, but it just doesn't work as well in the hotter months. During the summer, incorporate some color. It adds style, a pop of personality, and it's just plain literally cooler. Those darker colors you tend to wear attract and absorb the sun, making you overheat very easily. Now, if you're someone like me who doesn't naturally incorporate color well into your wardrobe, do what I do. Have a style of clothing you're comfortable with, such as a polo shirt, and add a pop of color to that. That way, as you're incorporating color into your wardrobe, you don't have a new color and an item at the same time. Much less awkward, much easier to get used to. So during the summer, don't be so dull. Skip all the navy blacks and gray. Start incorporating some color. Now next up is a summer style mistake you wanna avoid because of the typical casual clothing you wear during the summer. I mean, most of us are wearing a lot of shorts, T-shirts, sneakers can get kind of boring. You have less outfit choices as the temperature rises. The way to combat that, don't forget or ignore your accessories. Now throughout the year, your accessories are those final details that take your outfit to the next level. And to me, they're even more vital during the summer. Like I said, you have less clothing choices during the summer. Individuality and personality you're able to express through your accessories exponentially increases during the summer. So do yourself a favor, throw on a nice watch, a bracelet, a necklace, of course your favorite pair of sunglasses. Cause throughout the year, your accessories are the final details that take your outfit to the next level. And in my opinion, they're even more vital during the summer. Now speaking of sunglasses, yes it's great that you're throwing on your favorite pair of shades during the summer. The mistake you don't wanna make, wearing the wrong style or shape of sunglasses for your face shape. Although it's easy to find many great sunglass options, not every sunglass style fits every face shape. That's why I believe it's very important that you go out and actually try on different styles of sunglasses. If you need a little extra help trying to figure out what sunglass style might work best with your face shape, I made a video on that very topic a little while back. I'll leave a link in the description for your viewing pleasure. But the key thing to keep in mind when wearing sunglasses during the summer, Make sure you're picking the right sunglass style for your particular face shape. Now, next up on a list of the worst summer style mistakes is one I like to remind you guys of every year, making the mistake of not relying on no-show socks. During the summer, a lot of guys love the look and feel of not wearing socks at all. The only problem along with that comes much more sweat and much more odor. Instead, why not take the functional and stylish alternative? wear no-show socks. Not only does wearing no-show socks cut down on the odor and the sweat, they help protect your precious footwear. You see, one of the things that will wear your shoes out quicker than anything else, the moisture from your sweat breaks down the leather. So when you wear no-show socks, not only will you look and feel cooler and more stylish, you're actually protecting your shoes as well. Make sure during the summer, you rely much more on no-show socks. Now, another style mistake I see guys making every summer, picking the wrong type of shorts. Now, I get it. For most of us, myself included, we love rocking shorts during the summer. Much more comfortable, much more lightweight, giving you a lot more air and breathability. Only problem is, a lot of guys pick 
the wrong style. Most of the time wearing shorts that are too long. The extra long below the knee shorts, just not stylish. You wanna make sure you've got it right, but most guys, you want your shorts to fit about an inch or two above the knee. Another thing to look out for, most guys, you don't look good in cargo shorts or pleated shorts. These type of shorts are very difficult for the average guy to get right. For most guys, you're gonna look better in flat front shorts. So yes, during the summer, I encourage you to wear shorts to your heart's desire, but make sure you're picking the right shorts. Now next up, we're gonna talk about a summer style mistake that comes to another one of the final details that take your outfit to the next level. During the summer, a lot of guys wear the wrong fragrance. Now first off, if you're one of the 20% of men that actually wear cologne, I wanna congratulate you. But I wanna make sure you're wearing seasonally appropriate fragrances during the summer. During the summer, you wanna put away the woodsier, muskier, leathery scent. You wanna opt more for lighter, brighter, fresher, crisper, citrusy scent. These lighter, brighter, fresh scents are just gonna be much more summer appropriate. Now, if you need some help in picking out a great summer fragrance, I'll drop a link in the description to my recent list of the 10 best summer colognes for this year. Whether you pick one from my list or another great summer fragrance, make sure when you're choosing your signature scent for the summer, grab the right one a lighter, fresher, brighter, crisper scent.